Hello, this is Jeff Kelly, and in this video, I would like to talk about can you marry someone who is about to file bankruptcy? And the answer is absolutely not. It's not legal. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Of course you can. Um, I get it. Marriage is a super scary proposition. You've got in-laws on the other side. Ooh. You've got potential brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Oh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, what's it going to be like? And then you want to add on top of it, oh my gosh, the spouse has a ton of debt hanging over their head. Well, what do you do when the love of your life is loaded down with debt? Well, first thing I want you to do is take a deep breath and relax because marrying a person who has tons of debt is not going to make you liable for said debt in any way, shape, or form. Georgia is not a community property state. The only way you're going to be held liable on debt is if you have signed a contract with them. You feel better now? As a general rule, I think it's best for a person loaded with debt to file bankruptcy before the marriage takes place so you can begin your new life together with a fresh start. If you wait until after the wedding takes place, the income of both spouses will count on the bankruptcy means test. In other words, if you're a high income earner, you could end up disqualifying your spouse from being eligible to file bankruptcy if you wait until after the wedding. However, if the person who has all the debt also has high income and the person getting the other spouse has no income, you know, that's one of those strange cases where it might make sense to wait until you do get married because when you're adding a new person to the means test who has no income, that may help um, the high income earner qualify for bankruptcy. So here are some debt issues that I think you might need to consider before marriage. Uh, number one, for IRS purposes, if you sign a joint tax return, you are liable for the joint tax debt, even if the tax debt wasn't created by you. For example, let's say you have, you're marrying someone who is self-employed and said self-employed person makes a ton of money and doesn't pay the IRS anything. And now they've got a ton of debt related to the self-employed business. Meanwhile, the other spouse has had taxes taken out of every single one of their paychecks and they file a joint return, guess who's liable for that tax debt? You both are. So be careful with joint tax returns. Um, if you have a joint checking account, it's important you understand that if your spouse gets a judgment against them for a big amount of debt, uh, your, the money that's sitting in your joint account uh, is at risk of being taken and garnished, cleaned out by the creditor. If you own a house, you, if you get married and you buy a house together and the other spouse has a FIFE against them, that FIFE is going to attach to your house. Um, kind of scary. Um, student loans are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. So you need to ask yourself, how much does this other person have in student loans? I shudder at the thought of how many weddings have not taken place because of student loans. Um, Side note, uh, in the 90s, student loans were made non-dischargeable, and it has created, a, in my opinion, a form of economic slavery in this country. Um, when compound interest starts working against you, you know, 10 years the debt can double, 20 years it can triple. Uh, I mean, compound interest is great when it's working in your favor and it's growing your bank account, but when it's working against you through student loan debt, that is a terrible, terrible situation to be in. So the question is, how much does your spouse owe in student loan debt? What is the plan for paying it off? Um, these are all very important issues, and I, I would encourage you, if you think about getting, re about getting married or remarried, whatever, um, Sit down with the bankruptcy attorney. It's a free consultation. It doesn't cost anything to come into our office. Sit down and let us review the entire situation. If you want to pull your credit report, you can get a free one at annualcreditreport.com. And we can sit down and go over um, any debt questions you have. We have office locations in Marietta, Kennesaw, Douglasville, Dallas, Georgia. 
Dalton, Cartersville, and Rome. Give us a call today, 770-881-8449. Thank you.